Hello beauties and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is KM the makeup artist, your makeup artist. So guys, I'm so beyond excited because this is literally the first video that I'm going to be posting on my YouTube channel. And because some of you guys have been texting asking when am I going to post a video. I am so grateful for the love and support that you guys have been giving me ever since I started my makeup journey. Today we have a very special guest who's going to be our model for today. Her name is Precious and she's my neighbor and also one of my childhood friends. So guys, enjoy the video. So I'm gonna start the foundation process. I already prepped the skin, moisturized it off camera. And then I'm gonna take the foundation from Maybelline New York Fit Me, uh, Mad Polis Normal to Oily Skin with Clay in the shade 364 Deep Bronze. And then I'm gonna use my brush to distribute the product all over the face. Then take the Beauty Blender and then start to pat the foundation onto the skin. So moving right on to the next step, I'm gonna take my concealer and start to highlight the face. So I'm so sorry guys that some of these products that I'm using in this video, I had them for a very long time. So like this concealer, the shade of this concealer has been erased on the container but it's from maybelline feed me maybelline new york feed me um i got this concealer from clicks so after applying the concealer on the points of the face where i have to highlight I'm gonna start blending the concealer with the same beauty blender that I was using to blend the foundation. Piece of advice guys, make sure when you're blending the concealer you're moving very fast but make sure that you blend very well. Um, as I was saying, blend very fast because the concealer can dry and it is going to be very hard for you to blend so moving on to powder i'm going to be using the kiss beauty number one in the shade 988 i'm going to take a fluffy brush and put the powder under the eyes first then all over the face With the same beauty blender that I blended the foundation and also the concealer, I'm gonna push the powder and first under the eyes, then all over the face to get a smooth finish. So with the Yadley London press powder, I'm gonna put the powder onto the cheeks just to try to create that shadow to get that snatched face.
So from a palette that I have in my kit, I can't mention the name due to some reasons I have. So I'm going to take that shade that I just showed you. It's a little bit brownish. I'm going to try to snatch the nose with that shade. So I'm going to start the process of baking the face with the same beauty blender that I was using. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Luxury Banana Powder to snatch the nose and bake the face under the eyes. So I am also putting the powder on the bridge of the nose, on the forehead and also on the side of the face to snatch the face, I guess. <laughs> So moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Imen of Noble in the shade Mad B Lush and start to apply it onto the face to bring back some color. I am so sorry guys if I'm moving too fast. I'm trying to save time and I hope you guys understand whatever that I'm trying to do in this video. So now moving on to brows, I'm going to use the Million Pauline. your breath just take your time hold your breath very well and you will see your eyebrows will come out looking nice so there's a clip that I'm that is missing here I don't know how but then it's missing where I blend the concealer under the eyes to actually get it to be smooth and looking all nice so I don't know how I lost the clip so I'm so sorry guys um so i took the foundation the same foundation that i used on her the maybelline new york fit me in the shade 364 deep bronze and taking that to clean the top of the brow so taking that luxury banana powder i am gonna bake the eyebrows so moving on to eyeshadow today i am gonna be using the colors limited 15 color eyeshadow palette that i got from Foshin. i don't remember how much it was because i had it for some time now and i'm gonna take that purple shade in the palette and start to pack the shade onto the crease
so with that yellow shade from that palette again I'm gonna try to blend the edges of that purple shade and also later on you'll see that I am gonna be also using the purple the the orange I'm sorry from that same palette so just know that all the shades that I'm using are from that palette So I am trying to cut the crease here with the same concealer that I've been using. Some people will say that I am not doing right by just using one concealer. Hey guys, here I'm trying to show you what works for me and please don't judge me. <laughs> and because I'm, I don't have that much money to buy products, so... This concealer actually works for me in, to, in doing so many things on just one look. So just bear with me guys up until I am financially stable to actually buy different products so that I can show you what they can do. So I am cutting the crease here with the same concealer that I've been using on the face and then I took just some fluffy brush that I have in my kit to actually pad the product after cutting the crease so that the crease could be smooth when I apply the shadow on top of it so I am just padding that brush on to the lid so that I reduce the product I hope you guys can understand so I went on and took the purple shade again in that same palette just to blend the edges of the crease so i am blending in i am so sorry guys i hope you are able to actually understand whatever that i'm trying to say because english guys it's not my mother tongue so i am trying i'm trying so i went on and took again the pink shade from that same palette and packed it next to the purple so later on i'm gonna be adding uh, orange and then after orange is the yellow so let me tell you a little story not actually a story uh, let me just tell you what happened the day before i filmed this video so I was trying to film a video with the same model and it didn't turn out looking that good so I was not happy with how the video turned out so I was just like okay let me start again the next day so I was using the same brush that I'm gonna be packing the color yellow onto the lid so I think I was using color green the day before and then when I tapped, so I didn't clean the brush. When I applied the yellow shade, okay, here is the clip, yes. So as I am applying, as I took the brush and applied the yellow shade, it turned into this lime green sort of a color. So I was trying to pick yellow, but it turned out to be lime so i just went on with the flow so it's been some time since the powder has been sitting on the face so I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush and dusting off the powder off the face. Yo, English. So, yeah. And then I went on and took a metallic shade from that palette that I told you guys that I can't mention the name due to some reasons that I have. So, I'm going to be taking that metallic shade and putting it on the brow bone.
so moving on to the next step i took that purple shade from the same palette lined the bottom part of the eye and then i connected the bottom shadow with the top shadow on the side so that it doesn't look disconnected So after doing that, I went on and took the Miss Signature Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed and Sand Wishes, applied that on the bridge of the nose with my finger, then with my friend brush on the high points of the cheeks, on the mouth and also on the forehead. And then I took the Huda Beauty Eye Lip Liner Pencil and lined my model's lips. And then after doing that, I took the NARS Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bond and put it on top of my model's lips. So after doing that, I sprayed the face with the MAC Fix Plus and that completes our look guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment down below so that I know what type of content you would like to see on this channel. Till next time. Bye guys.